All right, peoples, this is Ross. So I'm doing a little bit of a PSA in this video. Um, I get this question a lot. It kind of goes somewhere along the lines of Ross, help, my fig tree has woken up and it's really only January or February or March and it's the winter time. We're still really far away from spring. So what do I do? Um, now that it's awoke, it's woken up in my house, maybe it's in my basement, maybe it's in your garage, uh, wherever it is. I get this question a lot, guys, so um, don't feel too bad. This is just something that when you're new and you've never done this before, it's just something that unfortunately you got to learn from your mistakes to not repeat this again. The unfortunate part of this is that by having your fig tree wake up so soon and it's in, it's in an indoor environment, and it's not getting natural light, your tree is gonna be at a very severe disadvantage going into this upcoming season. And it may not even fruit because of that. So it's really important to do one of three things that I'm gonna mention here. Um, number one, so we wanna put it somewhere either colder than where you currently have it, or actually a lot warmer than where you currently have it. So by putting it somewhere colder, let's say your basement right now, if you had a thermometer, you should get one. Check out the, the temperature of where your fig tree is because the, the temperature, believe it or not, is really the main driving factor of why your fig tree woke up. Uh, that's really that main signal there. So usually in your basements, it's going to be probably maybe 50, 55, 60, 65, somewhere around there. That's just too warm. If your fig tree is in those temperatures for maybe about a week or two, it's just going to wake up. Um, maybe it might take you a little bit longer to see that actual process of it waking up, but anything where the, the buds are starting to swell, it's starting to see more green on it, it's starting to grow just even a little bit, maybe you're seeing some leaves, the tree is now woken up. And you really need to, to either do, like I said, one of three things. So one of them is you can put it in a colder environment, and I would recommend somewhere around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go down actually down to uh, 32 that's not going to be the worst thing in the world you may even be able to go a little bit lower than that assuming you don't have any frost we're really trying to avoid frost at this particular moment as soon as the tree wakes up the tree is then very sensitive to frost and that could be of course a big issue if you're trying to actually get fruit this season so I would put it somewhere colder because again the temperature really does affect how the what the tree does just like us as humans we, not, we like to operate metabolically at a particular temperature. So the fig tree is the same thing. It's not gonna really grow very quickly or at all if it's at a very cold temperature. You know, at 50 degrees Fahrenheit or so, it'll grow, but very, very slowly. If we can get down to 40, it's gonna pretty much stop growing completely. And that'd be great because then we're gonna kind of put the tree in a state of limbo and it's gonna sit there all winter time at 40 degrees Fahrenheit until we then can move it outside into natural sunlight into the spring like weather after our last frost. So that's really what you want to do. I think that's probably the best scenario. If you have an environment like that, I would, I would go for it. Just keep it around 40. Don't let it get too warm because then again, it's going to start growing. And here's the issue, right? If it's in an indoor environment without any natural sunlight, even a window is not really gonna do it justice. You're gonna have an issue where it's gonna grow and that new growth is gonna be very weak, very spindly, very thin. Uh, it's gonna be pale green in color and it's just not gonna fruit this year. It's also gonna affect the long-term structure of your tree and you could then actually sort of be penalized in future years because you did this. So I would just highly recommend, especially if you don't really know how to prune your tree just yet, try to put it in a colder environment. Now the other option is to put it in a warmer environment. So you're at 50, maybe 60 degrees Fahrenheit. What you're looking for now is somewhere between 70 and 80. Ideally you want to get to 75 and 80. The warmer you can get it, the better. Maybe you guys have a a southern window that gets a lot of light or a western window that gets a lot of heat maybe you have it like you can put it in a window near a vent and you have the heat that turns on in your house and also warms up the tree 
we're really trying to warm up the tree because again, that's gonna affect the tree metabolically and it's gonna wanna grow. So this is in a sense gonna give it a really good head start potentially. Now the window is not necessarily enough. So if you got a Western window or a Southern window, you're getting sunlight all day, maybe it would be enough, but ideally you would supplement that tree with overhead lights, uh, some grow lights. You can get them pretty cheap. You don't even need LEDs, just some cheap fluorescent lights that are maybe two to four inches away from the leaves, covering most of the canopy if you can. And of course, increase those soil temperatures. Maybe you have a heat mat you can put underneath. Um, also give it some food. You're kind of kind of act like this tree is now awake and you're trying to give it the best chance at fruiting this year that you can. So those that's really the second option. If you can't do either one of those, the third option would be to actually shuffle your tree in and outside every day. So during the day, assuming there's no frost, there's it's above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, put your tree outside for the day. And by the way, when you put it outside, you got to be very careful because if you have leaves on your tree um, of any form and it's been inside for a long time, maybe the, the, the growth is also very pale, you could sunburn your tree and that's really not going to be good. So you want to do it very slowly at first, but if your tree is just waking up, you found this video at the perfect time because what you want to you want to do is just put it right outside because you want it to be in that natural sunlight. Also, those colder temperatures outside during the day are really going to not make it not grow all that much. So it's probably even better than, let's say, option two, if you could really warm it up and put it in a window. I'd probably do option three before I did option two. Um, just put it outside and get it adjusted to that natural sunlight. As long as you have it in natural sunlight and the temperatures are a bit colder, your tree is going to appreciate it more. It's going to slow down its growth but it's also not gonna be in that state like it would be in your basement if you just let it sit there where the growth gets a bit pale, spindly, weak, and then of course isn't gonna fruit for you that year. So um, those are my three big tips there for anybody out there who's kind of struggling with this. Again, it's just something that you're gonna to have to deal with. And you know, I would probably argue that Maybe your spring is coming up and it's only a month away, or maybe your last frost is only a month away, then probably just shuffle the tree in and outside. I mean, that's not really a whole lot of work. Bring it in at night, put it outside during the day, watch the temperatures, watch the forecast. You know, don't let it get below 32 because you don't want it to let it get hit by a frost. Um, you can even see frost above 32, believe it or not. So uh, be really careful with that tree you're trying to really preserve this new growth to the season. And I'll just give you a little lesson real quick. This new growth here, if you look at this tree here in front of me, this is one of my trees that put out fruit, as you can see, and this is along the new growth. So this is why this is also critical, is if you're not preserving and you're not getting that new growth off on the right foot, you're just not gonna get fruit. The new growth is where the figs form. And that's of course, if you're trying to get main crop. So if you see figs on your tree like this, obviously you're doing something right. Now, sometimes you might see some braba and that's even maybe another reason um, to really try to get your tree in the right environment if it, if it just woke up. Uh, because then you have some fruit on your tree that potentially is just going to, to uh, ripen um, in your basement. And that's gonna be probably the worst tasting fruit you'd ever taste so um, really try to preserve this new growth here guys and I'd also recommend for anybody out there who's new to this whole thing obviously we do a lot of videos around figs just try to you know pay attention and keep up to date on what's going on in the season I'm gonna bring you guys through this whole process you can know exactly what you need to do but something here that you can go to and look at is on my blog it's figboss.com and there's a, a blog post I have here. It's called the 15 steps to success. It's a fig checklist. And you can just go down here and see exactly what it is that you need to do um, to make sure that you have a successful season. There's 15 little tips there. There's also all kinds of other tips and other blog posts I've made. I did 
one that's on nine uh, nine ways that you can fail or something like that. Um, there's one um, uh, that I'm totally blanking on, but there's about three or four really good blog posts for people who are brand new. Um, oh, one is called the Fig Timeline. So you can type that in here, Fig Timeline, hit enter, and here's the Fig Tree Timeline. So you know exactly what to do at any point in the season. You can use this and follow right along as um, as I'm going here. So, alrighty, peoples. That this was Ross. I hope you guys will stay tuned to more videos. I hope you guys uh, have a successful season. Your fig tree gets through this all right, and we will see everybody soon. All right, take care, guys.